morning children after having learned about the rational numbers and the irrational numbers today let us learn one more very important group of numbers called real numbers okay let us start the session uh, okay children today we will learn about real numbers okay let us recapitulate what are rational numbers the number which is written in the form of p by q where p q belong to z and q is not equal to 0 is called a rational number and uh, the set or group of this numbers is denoted by the letter q okay and it is represented as q is equal to p upon q where p comma q belong to z and q is not equal to 0 okay example for rational numbers are 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 3 by minus 2 minus 1 by 2 5 by minus 7 etc dash 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 okay in the example written above p and q are integers but uh, q is not equal to 0 this is all about the rational numbers now uh, look at the board children irrational numbers okay let us understand the definition of irrational numbers irrational numbers means any number which is not written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 is called an irrational number okay the set of irrational numbers is denoted by bar q or ir okay example for irrational numbers are root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 etc okay and cube root of 2 cube root of 3 cube root of 5 cube root of 7 etc now children we saw the definition of irrational numbers and the examples for irrational numbers okay let us show root 2 a is an irrational number now let us take the example square root of 2 some people may question me that sir square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2 upon 1 because any number divided by 1 is the same number therefore square root of 2 is equal to root 2 upon 1 now it is in the form of p by q where p is root 2 and q is 1 and q is not equal to 0 therefore they may say that square root of 2 is a rational number not an irrational number okay but you are true but look at the uh, answer here square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2 by 1 it is correct and that is equal to p by q that is also correct but where q is not equal to 0 that is also correct and q is an integer that's also correct but is p an integer no here the condition fails here p is equal to root of 2 and square root of 2 is not an integer in the set of integers you will find okay minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 up to infinity 0 plus 1 plus Plus two plus three up to infinity, but you will never see square root of two in the set of integers. That is why here p is square root of two, which is not an integer. That is why square root of two is not a rational number; it is an irrational number. Therefore, children, root two does not belong to z, and q is equal to one belongs to z, and q is not equal to zero. Huh? But p is not an integer here. that is square root of 2 is not an integer therefore square root of 2 is an irrational number okay any number written under the square root mark is not an irrational number the first condition is n should be a positive integer and uh, secondly this n should be a prime number and this n should not be a perfect square okay if any number under the cube root is to be called as 
an irrational number the first condition is n should be a positive integer and n should be a prime number and n should not be a perfect cube here and here the n should not be a perfect square okay here we can conclude that this is a general form of an irrational number that is a root of n and there are conditions okay here n belong to a positive integer and uh, the value of n should not be negative and the value of a okay should also be positive and uh, it should start from 2 3 4 5 the value of a should not start from 0 or 1 but it should start from plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 okay and here the factor the number of factors in the factorization of n and the value of a should not be equal okay children then only the a root of n can be an irrational number okay so children hope you all have learnt about the irrational numbers definition examples and the conditions for the given numbers to call it as an irrational number okay now we will see about the real numbers okay after learning about the irrational numbers let us learn about the real numbers see children the rational numbers and irrational numbers all together they are called as real numbers among the group of numbers we have discussed so far the real number set or real number group of numbers is the biggest group of numbers okay children see here natural numbers whole numbers integers huh? then uh, the rational numbers in the form of p by q like a 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 3 by minus 2 minus 1 by 2 5 by minus 7 dash 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 etc and uh, the irrational numbers like square root of 2 square root of 3 square root of 5 square root of 7 etc and square root of n okay and cube root of 2 cube root of 3 cube root of 5 cube root of 7 etc these are all the examples for real numbers okay we can say children all natural whole integers rational and irrational numbers are example for real numbers but all real numbers are not the examples of natural numbers whole numbers integers uh, rational numbers and irrational numbers okay if you look at the natural number group and whole number group whole number group is greater than the natural number group and if you compare integers and whole numbers you will see that integer group is greater than the whole number group okay and if you compare the rational number group and uh, integer group okay the rational number group is greater than the whole number natural number and integer group okay and if you compare the group of real number children this is the biggest group of all the group of numbers that we have discussed so far so children the set of real numbers is denoted by the letter r and is equal to q and bar q or ir q stands for the group of rational numbers bar q or ir stands for the irrational numbers 
द ग्रुप ऑफ रियल नंबर्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑल रैशनल नंबर्स एंड ऑल इैशनल नंबर्स ओके बट ऑल रैशनल नंबर्स कंसिस्ट ऑफ वॉट नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स इंटीजर्स एंड एनी नंबर रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पी बाई क्यू ओके एंड यू माइट बी नोइंग देर आर नंबर्स कॉल्ड डेसिमल नंबर्स ओके इवन डेसिमल नंबर्स आर ऑल्सो रैशनल नंबर्स हाउ आर दे रैशनल नंबर्स यू हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस ओके इन डेसिमल नंबर्स अगेन देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ओके नाउ देर आर टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल्स एंड नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग रिपीटिंग और रेकरिंग डेसिमल्स ओके टर्मिनेटिंग डेसिमल्स एंड नॉन टर्मिनेटिंग एंड रेकरिंग डेसिमल्स आर ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल फॉर द रैशनल नंबर्स ओके that there are one more type of decimals which are non terminating and non recurring or non repeating
okay children you learnt about the decimals okay or decimal numbers these are incomplete numbers there are different types of decimals let us know the classification of decimals decimal numbers are mainly classified into two types terminating decimals and non terminating decimals okay in non terminating again there are two types of decimals non terminating and repeating decimal or recurring decimal and non terminating and non repeating decimal or non terminating and non recurring decimal this is how now we saw what do we mean by decimal and the different types of decimals okay there are terminating decimals and non terminating decimals and again in non terminating decimals there are non terminating and repeating decimals and non terminating non repeating decimals okay but remember children this uh, terminating decimals are example for rational numbers because they can be written in the form of p by q how we will see later and non terminating and repeating decimals also are examples for rational numbers because these can also be written in the form of p by q but non terminating and non repeating decimals are examples for irrational numbers because they cannot be written in the form of p by q is it clear to you okay so children at the end we can conclude that terminating decimals and uh, non terminating repeating decimals are rational numbers but non terminating and non repeating decimals are irrational numbers but terminating decimals non terminating and repeating decimals non terminating and non repeating decimals these are all real numbers okay in one word i would like to say that all decimals are real numbers but all real numbers are not decimals okay we will justify it later okay please uh, look at me children square root of 4 is equal to root of 2 into 2 here 4 is a perfect square that's why it is equal to 2 and 2 is equal to 2 by 1 is equal to p by q where p and q belong to z and q is not equal to 0 that is why square root of 4 is not any rational number it is rational number similarly square root of 36 is not any rational number it is rational because square root of 36 is equal to root of 6 into 6 and square root of 6 into 6 is 6 and the 6 is equal to 6 by 1 which is written in the form of p by q where p and q belong to z and q is not equal to 0 here under the square root mark the number 4 is a perfect square that is why square root of 4 is not irrational it is rational but square root of 36 36 is also a perfect square and its square root is 6 now uh, let us look at one more example children here it is cube root of 343 okay is equal to cube root of 7 into 7 into 7 here 343 is a perfect cube because it can be expressed as the product of three equal factors 7 into 7 into 7 okay so 1 7 comes out and the 7 is equal to 7 upon 1 is equal to p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 that is why it is a rational number therefore children cube root of 343 is equal to 7 and it is a rational number okay not an irrational number but now let us see the some other examples if you take square root of 
its value is equal to 1.414213562373095 dash 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 so root 2 is equal to a decimal what type of decimal non terminating and non recurring decimal okay here in the decimal part how many digits are there infinitely many digits therefore it is a non terminating decimal root 2 is equal to non terminating decimal and is there a single digit repeating no is there a group of digits repeating no so children it is non recurring decimal and all together root 2 is equal to a non terminating and non recurring decimal but we have learned in our previous classes that a non terminating and non recurring decimal is an example for irrational number that is why irrational number is equal to root 2 and root 2 is equal to irrational okay similarly square root of 3 is equal to 1.732050807568877 dash 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 okay here root 3 is equal to a decimal number what type of decimal number non terminating and non repeating here in the decimal part there are infinitely many digits they do not end that is why non terminating decimal okay you cannot count the digits in the decimal part of the decimal number that's why it is non terminating decimal and in the decimal part is there any single digit repeating or a group of two digits repeating or a group of three digits repeating no that is why it is non recurring decimal or non repeating decimal therefore here children this is equal to non terminating and non recurring decimal but non terminating and non recurring decimal is irrational number thus irrational number is equal to root 3 and root 3 is equal to irrational similarly we can prove for root 5 root 5 is also equal to non terminating and non recurring decimal because in the decimal part there are many many digits uncountable number of digits and no a single digit or not a group of digits is repeating that is why non terminating and non recurring decimal and this is equal to irrational number that is why irrational number is equal to root 5 and root 5 is equal to irrational and lastly cube root of 7 cube root of 7's value is 1.912931182772389 dash 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 okay here in the decimal part the digits will not end that's why it is non terminating decimal and not a single digit or a group of two digits group of three digits is repeating in the decimal part that is why it is non recurring decimal or non repeating decimal and i can say this is an example for non terminating and non recurring decimal but such decimals are irrational numbers that is why this decimal is equal to cube root of 7 and cube root of 7 is equal to this non terminating and non recurring decimal but non terminating and non recurring decimal is irrational that is why irrational is equal to cube root of 7 or cube root of 7 is equal to irrational did you learn children so non terminating and non recurring decimals are example for irrational numbers and uh, we have seen just now that any number written under the square root mark okay is not an irrational number and there are certain conditions okay therefore square root of n cube root of n and uh, you know a root of n and non terminating and non repeating decimals these are all example for irrational numbers but rational numbers plus irrational numbers together called as real numbers and real number set is the biggest set of all the numbers that we have studied so far okay look at the board children here we have the definition and the representation of real numbers here the rational and irrational numbers are together called real numbers 
the set of real numbers is denoted by r so r is equal to okay inside the flower bracket we have q comma bar q or ir okay q stands for rational number bar q or ir stands for irrational number hi children hope in today's session you learnt about what are real numbers and the representation of real numbers okay of course the set of real numbers is the biggest set of the numbers that we have discussed so far okay from tomorrow we will learn further concepts and properties related to the real numbers okay till then goodbye La 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 la